how to get a soulmate to chase you, right? Not your twin flame. If you're one of my twin flame viewers, go watch my twin flame videos. It's completely different, twin flames. And the problem with the typical kind of explanation you're going to get about twin flames on the internet is they conflate twin flames and soulmates. And if you were to ask them what's the difference, they don't have a good answer. Go watch my twin flame videos and it's going to be very black and white. It's going to be very clear to you. This video is about how to manifest a soulmate. And if you're not sure if the person that you're obsessing over is your twin flame or not, go watch my other videos. I'm the world's leading twin flame coach. I think I might know a thing or two about that. Now, back to soulmates. How do I manifest a soulmate? And guys, let me tell you something. What I'm going to share with you today, you're going to get somebody to chase you like a son of a gun, a soulmate person, okay? And it could be somebody specific. And let's, let's stop there for just one second because I want to be clear about this. Many people obsess over a person, not your twin flame, <laughs> but somebody else, and they just kind of like get fixated on this person. They got their heart set on this person. And I don't always recommend that. Maybe, okay? So for example, what if you're married and the relationship is on the rocks? It's not working out. Uh, you're separated, right? You're maybe staring down the barrel of, a, of the divorce cannon, right? The, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's coming and you want to save your marriage, okay, maybe then you could focus on a specific person. But generally speaking, if you're not sure what to do, if you don't have anybody in particular in mind, that's great. Um, if you do have somebody in particular in mind, then um, think twice about obsessing over them because you'll probably just push them away. And that's kind of where this video is going to start. You, you, you shouldn't focus on the other person, even if it's a soulmate, right? You shouldn't necessarily focus on a specific person. And anyway, manifesting, you're focused in here, guys. And the number one thing with manifesting anything is increasing your consciousness. You're actually going to use your consciousness. You're controlling your consciousness. You're working with it, right, to project onto your own thoughts, all right, about what you want. So you might want to just go generic when it comes to a soulmate type person. And write it down. Write down what you want in a person, but don't make a long list. That's a big mistake that lots of people make. Keep the list to like four traits. Seriously, four. <laughs> four qualities, and they got to be one or two sentences each. You can start with 10, but you guys got to distill it. You got to, okay, I'm going to start with 10, and I'm going to, so this is how to do it. Guys, listen up. This is how you manifest the man or woman of your dreams. You... You could start with 10, write them down, and then distill, 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 distill. How can I get to four two-sentence things that I really want in a man or a woman? Uh, and just do that, okay? Now, if you are choosing to focus on a specific person, okay, but remember, everybody's got free will, guys. And if you are a really powerful manifester and you use these techniques on somebody that really doesn't want to be with you, it's going to backfire. So think twice about that. But again, maybe you got a good legit reason. Maybe you're going through a divorce or something like that. Okay. So that's the first thing. Make a list of what you want in a man or a woman and make it simple. <laughs> Don't overcomplicate things. A lot of people, they make things way too complicated. Be generic, guys. Um, and uh, take your focus off of out there. You're focusing in here. So that's number one. Number two, and this really should have been maybe the number one thing, but you got to cultivate a lifestyle of Zen, guys. And I explain this in my Manifest Your Dream Life uh, video course. It's 26 hours long, and I explain this again and again and again. In that e-course, you got to make a lifestyle out of Zen. 80-90% of the game is doing that. Okay, and I'm not talking about being a total hermit and living under a rock and never doing anything and, and just being in solitude all the time. You know, everything's quiet and silent all the time, and I can't go out with my friends and go do anything fun. That's not it. 
It's how to work with your consciousness. You are going to need to meditate every day, guys. And I, I do it in the morning, I do it at lunch, and I do it before bed. Okay, there's specific things that you can do to increase your consciousness. Remember your body, mind, soul. Well, the soul is primarily consciousness. And you are projecting that consciousness onto certain thought patterns. And you are creating certain thought patterns with your consciousness. So this is critical. This is absolutely, absolutely critical that you are increasing your consciousness and learning Zen and uh, transcending the mind, right? That's why I'm always telling you guys, to read Eckhart Tolle's books, or Michael Singer, Untethered Soul, watch the Samadhi movie, uh, you sign up for my e-course, fuck, it's only a couple of hundred bucks, guys, and I even have payment plans. It's very, very affordable, guys. The payment plans are great. I'll take the total price and break it down into six payments. You can get started for $50, and it's 26 hours long, and then you get to talk to us. There's me, there's my coach, Andrea. I just brought on a new coach. And guys, we're pro. There's a whole community of people that you can connect with, hundreds of people that you can talk to that are doing this journey right. So sign up today, guys. It's super affordable and comprehensive. Okay, so that's the first two main important things. Now let's get to the meat here about this. And I wanna be clear about this. If you've gotten this far in the video, give yourself a pat on the back because this is gonna be the part where it's the really hard work, okay? And it's worth it. Now guys, I'm a man, and if I was going to manifest somebody, me personally, I happen to be heterosexual, and I like women, so I'm going to manifest a woman. Now what do they always tell you when you're watching a Law of Attraction videos? you got to be the energy that you want to manifest, right? And that is true. But there's just one thing. Here's the thing nobody ever told you about manifesting a soulmate. If I'm trying to manifest a woman, do I need to be woman energy? And don't give me the whole new agey crap about, well, there's your feminine energy, Kurt, and you got to cultivate that. And then there's your masculine energy. And yeah, 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 I know. That's not what I'm talking about. I am primarily a biological man. So am I going to be a better man or a better woman? Am I, like, if I'm trying to manifest a woman... How would I attract her to me? By being a better man. Because obviously I want a woman who wants a man. Does this make sense? Yes, everybody's got feminine, masculine energies, right? And for men, you know, I maybe you could call it alpha, beta, or, or whatever. And women, I guess you could call it that too. And it, there's no such thing as an alpha male or a beta male. And the same goes for women. Those are qualities that everybody inherently has. Masculine, feminine, alpha, beta, whatever you want to call it, guys. It's the yin and yang of life. People get, people get stuck on those labels. So I can already hear you guys in the comments arguing with me about, well, Kurt, actually it's masculine and, and this is what masculine means and this is what alpha and beta means and you're wrong. No, 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 no. You're wasting your time. I'm not even going to argue with you. <laughs> it's duality, guys. It's yin and yang. Labels don't matter, okay? So, if you want to discuss archetypes, we can do that, and I am discussing archetypes, but I just wanted to take a quick pit stop and explain the duality of things. I am primarily male, so I'm going to be, you know, 80-90% masculine or alpha, if you want to call it that. Whatever the label you want to pick, I don't care. And then I'm going to be 10, 20% beta or feminine, whatever quality you want to call it, you know, whatever. You want to straighten me out on the labels, go for it. I'll, I'll read your comment and I'll consider what you said. But I want you to look at this from a higher macrocosmic perspective. People want to argue about the little detail stuff. You need to start looking at this from the higher perspective. If I'm a man and I want to manifest a woman, I need to have a good balance in a masculine way and be a man that a woman would find attractive. It's simple. You guys got to keep it simple, okay? If, you, if I'm a man and I want to manifest a beautiful, amazing, feminine, nurturing, kind woman, then I got to be a good man. And a good man doesn't mean being like a total alpha narcissist all the way 100% asshole. And it doesn't mean being a little 
kind of a, I don't know, effeminate. And I don't have any problem with people that are like that. It's just, I have my way of looking at the world, okay? This is what I'm trying to explain to you. You do it the way that works for you, dude, right? I'm not telling you what to do or what to be, okay? <clears throat> it's just, you have to, like I said at the beginning of this part, you've got to dig into this, guys. This is where the work is. What are your values? What matters to you? And everything in the universe works on a sliding scale of opposites. Do you understand? Do you understand the, the underlying energy here? There's a plus and a minus. There's a man, woman. There's a feminine, masculine, alpha, beta, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and women have those qualities too. So if you want to manifest like a fucking badass man who's like, like on point and he's also a great guy and, you know, he's strong and he's built and he's, he makes good money and he's really nice and he's a gentleman and he knows how to treat you like a lady and all that kind of good stuff, right? What do you got to do? Well, you got to be a good woman. It's simple, guys. It's simple. I'm only pointing out the obvious. It's just that when we think about manifesting, we think in terms of I have to be the energy of what I want. So, for example, money. If I'm trying to manifest some money, I would be as if I had money. I would think and act rich. Now, if I'm trying to manifest a woman, it's a little different, guys. Like I told you, this is the part that they don't tell you about. You know, the, the other manifesting uh, coaches. Or if they do, maybe you didn't pick up on it, right? It's when it comes to relationships, ordinarily, for, for the average person, if you're a woman, you're looking for a man. And if you're a man, you're looking for a woman. If you are, if you're... You know, if you're not heterosexual, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know anything about that. And I'm, I apologize for that, but I don't, I'm not. <laughs> I, I, I'm not gay or anything like that, so I can't help you. Sorry about that. Maybe if you are, you can talk about it in the comments section and, and help somebody out who has a question about that. So I apologize in advance. I don't, I, I'm not, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm heterosexual. So if I gave you coaching on that, I, I'm not qualified to talk about that. Okay, so, you know, and that's probably a good thing that I'm being honest about that. I don't know how to talk about that, right? So, if you're a, if you're a woman and you want to manifest a man, you got to be what a man would want. You, you got to be what the man you are looking for would want you to be. Does that make sense? Because when it comes to relationships, it's all about the yin and yang, guys. It's all about the masculine feminine. If you want to man, if you're a man and you want to manifest like a like a really feminine woman who's who's nice and has her shit together and is nurturing and is fun and is intelligent and all the awesome things, then you gotta be a good man. And vice versa. So I hope this all makes sense, you guys. It's it's a little different when it comes to relationships. Okay, this is the part that's the work. And if I said anything that pissed you off, then you probably just don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> None of this should come as any surprise to any of you watching, okay? Uh, this, is, this is pretty common sense stuff that I think everybody knows. There is a biological convention to men and women, okay, where if you're trying to manifest somebody of the opposite sex, you got to be really good at being the sex that you are to attract that person to you, okay? Now, at the same time, there's other things like, do you want to manifest somebody who is a total drip? <laughs> somebody with no pizzazz at all? Probably not. So what are you doing to be a fun, quality person? What are you doing to have your shit together, right? Like, you, I don't know, you, you, if you present with a whole bunch of financial problems, then that might be a problem for the other person. You know what I'm saying? You guys got to think about these things critically. And here's another thing. Just ask if you're not sure what to do, because this, this third part of the video where 
it's like I said at the beginning of this part of the video, you're going to have to dig in and do the work. Okay, and I'm just addressing all of these different talking points and I'm probably leaving you with more questions than answers. And I'm doing that by design, guys. I'm asking you to start thinking critically about this, about relationships. If, if you're going to manifest a member of the opposite sex, you're going to have to be good at being the partner that they would want. Does that make sense? So you're going to have to start asking questions and thinking about this stuff. And I don't have all the answers for you because everybody is different. So what you can do is you can start looking for information about it and you'll find it. I promise. I promise. Um, if you ask God for answers, God will answer. If you ask God for answers, God will answer. And all you got to do is believe that. I don't know what or how to um, prepare myself for the man or woman of my dreams. God, can you show me resources, books, coaches, tools, right? And guys, this is the information age. The, the internet is just jammed with information. Now, there's good and bad information on the internet, and it's probably mostly bad so you have to be very discerning. So go to God and ask, and I'm absolutely serious. Guys, God is your buddy. God is your best friend, and God will never leave you hanging. And God communicates with everybody. It's just a matter of who listens. And that one is simple, guys. Asking for guidance and paying attention to the guidance. So there you go, guys. I just gave you the fucking keys to the kingdom. How to manifest the soulmate man or woman of your dreams. Watch this video again. Come back to this video again. Over time, I think it'll make more sense to you. Thanks for watching.